I'm Michael Grimsley. I'm a product technologist with Lenovo, and today I want to show you one of my favorite products, the Lenovo Yoga Book C930. And we're going to start off with uh, one of my favorite features that if you want to open this device, you simply tap twice on the top and it detects that and opens right up. And immediately you'll see something that's very interesting with this device. Is that the bottom here is uh, a little bit different style keyboard. So we've built in a full E panel down here. Uh, for your typing experience, so that allows some different uh, use cases for this than your typical laptop. First off, uh, when it comes to the actual typing experience, uh, especially compared to last generation, we've built in full animation to your keys. You have haptic feedback built into this and audio feedback, so that way when you're actually pressing on this flat surface, it feels like you're pressing more on a key. Another cool feature with this is that if you look at this device here, is uh, you can instantly change your keyboard layout and style. So on here I have a Japanese keyboard, so if you're bilingual or learning another language, um, you can easily switch to a different keyboard if you want. Along with that, you'll notice that the trackpad's kind of missing here, but if I simply press right there, you're allowed to bring the trackpad open. So that gives us a better, uh, larger uh, keyboard space to work with than previous generation. Now there are cool features about this are that if I press this button over here, I can instantly go into a drawing mode. So in this ink, um, you can take full notes if you want, you can sketch, you can draw, and you can even convert your handwritten notes into text and paste them into another program if you like. And what would an e-ink screen be without using an actual e-reader here? So you'll see I have a PDF loaded up right now. I can use this, read whatever book I want. I'll have to take another device with me when I'm traveling. Um, now right now it's PDF support, but we're looking at adding uh, EPUB, Mobi, and text format is coming uh, forward. Now, <clears throat> compared to previous generation, we've also upgraded the specs along with this device. So we've crammed in larger storage, so you have 128 options, uh, 256 SSD option. We've also crammed an i5 processor in this, so compared to last generation, you're gonna see a big performance boost on this. The screen itself is 2560 by 1600. So you have a nice vibrant screen with lots of resolution, especially if you're an artist. And um, along with that, this little circle up here is a IR fingerprint sensor. And what's cool about using an IR fingerprint sensor is that I'm sure if you've washed dishes or your hands have been a little wet or anything, you've tried to use a fingerprint sensor, it doesn't quite read it. The IR sensor will help with that and actually give you a better, easier read on your finger. Uh, so this device will be ready for holiday. It'll come at a starting price point of $9.99 and uh, hope you enjoyed a little tour of it.